And we have, like, Games Workshop shops, you know, and board game shops and stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely more prevalent over here, I'd say. I would agree with you. Let me join the sleeping club because I'm crushing after this one battle. All right, Nimu. I appreciate you stopping by. I live in a town of 30,000 people, but like every two minutes of driving, there's another five towns without exaggeration. I know what that's like. The East Coast, um, like the actual, like by the ocean East Coast of the United States is a lot like that. It's just, you're just constantly in like suburban areas always. And the towns just all kind of blend together. Some small villages everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But here, those towns are like maybe a thousand people, sometimes only a hundred. But they're everywhere. I don't know what the population of the towns, like over in like the Carolinas, and uh, you know Virginia and stuff. I don't know what that's like. Peace, guys. See you later, Nimu. Have a good sleep. But yeah, it's basically from like the Carolinas up to like New York. It's just a constant string of towns. There we go. And there's that province. Kepper Guard, that's a really good uh, regiment of renown, actually. Oh, I forgot about the special port, and that's actually huge. 300 income is massive. Drop that, we'll just keep the one. He does not impress me. Oof. Just in case, never know when you're gonna need it. The day of awakening years. Grab some growth. My Who are you at war with? What vile filth stands before me? Poor Aqua. We're going to take the Black Tower of Archon, 100%. 2,000 income is pretty awesome. Oh man, chat. I am tired. Mostly because I am sickish. Oh, I apologize for not being, uh, full steam, I guess is the way I'll put it. Imager link, what we got? Yeah, a lot of those are pretty tiny. We got a lot of those around here, but they're not very close together. We have a lot of little towns that size, little villages, I guess you would call them. But yeah, they're uh, more spread out. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Also, I should probably do this in preparation for the tier 3 virus. Let's go kill uh, the Chevaliers de Launes. 
<laughs> you throw a stone from one town to the next. Nice. Ta-ta! We're just kind of rolling over people, aren't we, chat? This is nice. This is like vac this is like Total War Vacation. You know what I mean? Go ahead and heal up. Bow before the rightful lords of this land, and I'll hear your demands. I don't think they'll declare war on us. Bow before the no, I don't think they'll declare war on us. If we get unlucky, they will. We have 11 turns until we get our next army, too. Kind of chilling, though. We're kind of chilling. We got walls up north. Need to get a wall in Zandri. And we need we, we need walls on the coastline, basically. Our town is basically equivalent in size to the largest city in our province. So it's amazing to think that uh, with towns this small, we can be so densely populated at a national level. That's pretty crazy. Isn't, like, a lot of uh, Western Europe like that, though? Maybe not uh, on the same level as the Netherlands, but... I was under the impression that it's pretty densely populated. Ugh. Except maybe Switzerland? That makes sense. Belgium's the same story? Okay. Also makes sense. Oh man, I gotta blow my nose again, I guess. Look upon my eternal form. Know that you broke out with great power. Oh yeah, you're spooky, all right. Hmm. I kinda wanna just leave this area be for now. Honestly. I think that's fine. And we'll we'll head east. I think we'll head east. I'm gonna leave these two here though, just in case a war breaks out. I think we're gonna chill. Uh do some infrastructure. We've eliminated what, two, three factions? One, two, three, yeah. Pretty chill. We can just let this rebel and let them have it. I don't care. I didn't. I, I took it because I thought maybe I would push down here, but since the Bretonians are uh, allied with the dwarves, I'm just going to wait until we have uh, bigger, better armies. But now I want to take, like, the Dune Kingdoms and uh, Numus, you know, this area. Take all this. Then we'll do great uh, Mortis Delta and then we'll finish off this. Probably just ignore this. Seems like a good plane to me. We got a lot going for us. I don't want to overextend now and lose all our good progress. Unlike other countries, we have no uh, large forest areas or hills like Scotland. Yeah, like the Highlands. It's all just uh, farmland, small towns, except along highways, there's forests uh, there, which is nice. Yeah. Get a bit of nature uh, from the safety of your car. It's actually how the highways are designed, to give you a nice view of forests, because people never uh, got to see nature. I know in uh, certain areas of the United States, they'll uh, intentionally plant trees around highways. To, uh, break up the scenery. Also, to give people privacy. You know, if it go, if, if the highway goes past, like, a residential area. Sometimes they overdo it, though, and you just feel like you're in a forest tunnel and you can't see anything. For miles.
I'm gonna be back in a bit, do some stuff. All right, no worries. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a shorter stream today, chat, by the way, because I am feeling kind of sick. So we're only gonna stream two more hours. Uh, thank you, Speedy. I appreciate that. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna stream two more hours. We'll do a three-hour stream today. I'm just uh, feeling kind of down. Roger, Roger, Roger. Be it worth thinking, Zeratry? No, thank you. Um, I think we just save our money, or we spend it. Yeah, we spend it. There we go. Protector of the rest. The laws of chivalry demand. Say, this is what I gotta chill out and wait, you know, because there's this guy with his 18, sorry, 15 horsemen that I just gotta protect my cities from. So they get walls. Okay. That should be it. Again, sorry, Taz, blow up my nose. Oof. I love the cold weather, but I hate the weather change. Always makes me sick. Always love the cold weather, though, weather, though over the hot weather. 100%. Okay. We're just gonna chill in the capital for now. What do we got going on here? Righteous smiting. Get the incantation of vengeance. Why not? Got ten turns to tier four. Chilling. Get this wall. Actually, let me. I don't think I have enough money, do I? No, I don't. Never mind. We'll just get the wall. I wanted to uh, upgrade Kofor to tier 3, but uh, we barely didn't have enough. So we're chilling, chat. We're going to AFK for a few turns, you know, get some infrastructure going. As you do with uh, the Tomb Kings. Who disturbs my slumber? You guys, strength rank 16. Stop. Tell me, creature. Oh, what's your strength rank, Sentinels? Bow before a king. Reveling. 30. Really? Okay. Once we get some, like, constructs, I'll, I'll, I'll totally be down for taking the Black Pyramid. You definitely need, like, a, at least one Nec Necro Sphinx, if not two. Well, you don't need it, but it's just really nice to have. Also, more Tomb Guard for my main army. Would be sick. That's what we're going to get here in Fyrus.
Oh, man. Sorry, chat. Woo. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. All right, our reliability rating has recovered. Somewhat, it's medium. Let's check uh, their opinion of us. It's improving, is it 10? I'm not expecting any war declarations out of here then. Okay, we can move. We'll move east and we'll start taking over. I think we'll head for Numus. We'll head for Numus. Excuse me, click. Thank you. We'll go ahead and uh, head on over here. Scout him out. Very good. Next turn, we'll upgrade Kofi Tier 3. I do need... Yeah, I need him to I actually go back and recruit some units. I forgot that I just upgraded one of my crypts. Oh my. Numus could be a little tricky because whenever Tomb Kings only have one settlement, they tend to, you know, pile up at that settlement. So if we siege him uh, and then take out his outlying armies, should be manageable. It, it all depends on, like, what tier Numus is. And, uh. What, um. Uh, yeah, no, it just depends on what tier Numus is. You know. Because if he has constructs, that makes this a lot harder. Let's go back. We're going to get uh, four more units. Two of these. Oh, I thought I got two more archers. I guess not. Well, then uh, we're getting two chariots. Pog. Move this guy over. We're also going to give him two chariots. Nice. And we'll just get uh, Setra more Tomb Guard instead of these basic skeletons. Go for tier three. Very nice. Seven turns, we get our fourth army. But this is going to be another trash stack for sure. Pretty quiet turn so far. Very good. Very nice.
Okay. Greatness comes. Now we got some more quality here. Let's walk up and see what we're dealing with. He's a higher strength rank than us. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Thing about it is, though, they should all be trash stacks. Yeah, three trash stacks, one uh, that's actually decent. This will be fun. There we go. Yeah, that'll be good. Then we can build a wall next turn as well. Well, hold up. Does that actually give me income or anything? What does it give? No, nah, that's not worth upgrading. Never mind. Percentage income from trade is actually like the worst upgrade you could ever get. Bar none. Because it doesn't affect all income from trade. It only affects uh, tariff income, which is the lowest amount of income you can get from trade. So it's actually garbage. Okay. Do do do. Chariot recruited. Clan Moors pop some pest. Not clan. Yeah, clan Moors pop some pestilence. Scheming. Have Setra walk so he can recruit some tomb guard. Should just be three, I think. Uh oh, got a sneeze. Hold on. false alarm i hate it whenever your body does that to you it's like oh you're gonna sneeze never mind just kidding <laughs> okay there we go it was like i could get three tomb card with halberds but that seems a lot like overkill yeah we'll just leave it no i'm not touching that With the virus wall. And Xandrian come. And then next turn we'll be able to do another wall. Easy clap. My dynasty. Five turns to army number four.
Plaque was declaring war on the Rakath dynasty. Doesn't seem like they're in a position to really be picking fights, huh, chat? They're down to, like, one town. Although I would uh, like to see them do well. Should play them sometime. I haven't played the flappy little lizard boy in a long time. Yeah, we'll just walk. We're at the point where it's pretty much pointless to have such a merch anywhere. Because the movement bonus is so tiny from it. It's not really worth the risk. There we go, and then we do wall here. How much is this? 2,000? Perfect. Three hundred income on a single building is massive for us. Okay. My will be done. I'm gonna try and single uh, each of these armies out with Cetra's lightning strike, and then use all three of them against this army. That's the game plan. Okay. Winds of magic change. Servants, find my heart. Can you reach? Nah, we'll wait one more turn. I want to make sure we have enough movement to do all this shenaniganery. I actually have two talismans of preservation, blows my mind. Ignore that. And then we upgrade the docks at Kofor. Yes. Um, I guess we do income. Why not? Money, money, money. How's our reliability? Hi. Nice. Can I get trade now? That would be double yes. nice. Greeting, stranger. No, no. Dang it. Up, bow before the rightful lords of the realm. I must decline. Impudent. Oh, weapon. come on. Be my vassal, please. It'd be fun. Hang on. I actually really want that for the lulls. The lady grants you safe passage in these lands. Impossible. Impossible. Very well. Hey, there we go. Nice. I concur. Nice. We got a vassal chat. Pog. He's giving us 500 income a turn. That's awesome. Beautiful. Okay. That's what it's like to rule, chat. Just get a really weak faction that likes you and vassalize them. Easy clap. That's one of the things I like about Troy, is that settlements have different values. So, like, 
if I've got enough food, then I can vassalize a guy if his last province is a, is a food province. You know what I mean? But, like, in Warhammer, all settlements are created equal, and some are even better. You know? Like, a minor settlement is a minor settlement is a minor settlement. It's not like it's a wood minor settlement, it's a stone minor settlement, it's a gold minor settlement. You know, it doesn't have a different value. Agro Migdal is just as valuable as Gorgazan, and vice versa. And it's always better for me to own it than the AI to have it, is, is the problem. Okay. Alright, let's try this. Get this guy. They only have a garrison of nine. This is good. They challenge me? Fuba. Where is this? Uh oh. Oh, never mind. Just a save lag spike. Excuse me, please. Thank you. So now we lightning strike the quality army. No, no, no. I messed up. Dang it. That's not what we do. What did I turn on? What's up, Grudge? I wasn't supposed to do this. My faith in you wanes. Supposed to do this. Lightning strike. This. It's a lot of damage. Everything. Well, that pushed them away, at least. How are you doing today, Grudge? I cannot. My servant fails me. Shetra hates. Off work? Nice. Return to Camry. How much longer until uh, you're off for the season? Just reinstall Monster Hunter World? I have that. I haven't played it yet. I mean, I played it for like two hours. So I guess that counts. December 15th. What? What do you mean, what? I played like two hours of it. One, two... Just the two of them? Why don't I have a control large army option? Pleb? <laughs> I just don't have time. It's, it's another one of those games in the pile of games I don't have time to play but really, really want to. You know? The big pile. My dynasty reigns supreme. This is forbidden. In kind of a pickle here. I have 300 Four hours on it. I'm still new, but so good. I, I I got it because I heard the Iceborne DLC was really good, and I wanted to to, to play it. I think it's called Iceborne. Also, by the way, Grudge, we vassalized uh, the Knights of the Flame. So that was nice. And if you were only to do the story and then put it down, you, you still get your uh, money's worth? Nice. They just released Fat Atlas Dragon? Fat Fatalus? I don't know what that means. I know the premise of the story is that these dragons are like migrating into this new world for some reason and you gotta figure it out. That's like the premise, but that's like all I know. Fire on them. Attend your king, slaves. I think we got this. Send the, chariots. the question is, do I do this or do I kill him? I think I do this. It's just confusing why I can't choose to not control a large army here. 
Oh, I can't attack because I don't have Siege Attacker. That's why. We retreat. Well, I guess that answers my question. Just the two of my armies? I guess that's okay. I used to watch some people stream it sometimes, and I remember watching a guy fight like this stone dragon, and it looked really fun. Put the spears on the flanks. Go nice and wide. Archers. Chariots. Lord. Start. I can carry you. I made Hunting Horn support build. Uh, with me and a party and four people, it's like having five people. Nice. I mean, I'm down to play sometime. For sure. I, I definitely have like, it would be nice to have somebody that can answer all my questions because I have lots of them. Put some really thin line of tomb guard right here. Put some flank guard behind here. And of course do four more archers. chariots here three chariots there screaming skull catapult is gonna go right here I'll be in guard mode I like that they're not advancing and they're letting me get information it's pretty nice not many people do hunting horror because it's hard AF I don't even know what it is I was playing like a spear thing I don't remember what it was Or like a double-bladed something. I don't remember. I could dash around in the air a lot. That's all I remember. You probably know what it is. It's a hammer, but on top of uh, using it, a big stick. Well, actually, with you got to play in a combo order per song. Yeah, the insect glaive. Yeah, that's what I was using. Interesting. It's flashy but kind of low damage. That's how it felt. It felt like I could do a lot of cool little flippity doodahs and then I would do like 50 damage and I didn't feel like I was accomplishing anything. You can dodge a lot? Yeah. I mean, that's true. It still doesn't seem very useful though. Because you want to have good damage output, it seems like, in that game, right? Because I know some fights are like a DPS race. At least like like to get certain like uh, unlock things. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. To get like bonus stuff off of it. I don't remember exactly. In game, you get hit, you die. That's okay. That's very fair as well.
Ever since Troy chat, I've, I've preferred putting my uh, chariots in this kind of a formation because they're already pointing where I want them to go. Used to, I would put them in a straight line in the back. It didn't really make much sense. Waiting on our catapult to get into position. Oh, they have such crazy range. 380. Alright, so the game plan is to scooch forward. Until the catapults can hit them, basically. Which is probably going to be, like, there. Somewhere in there. See, let's check that range. Go, Petra, go, Petra, go, Petra, Kurt, the Petra, go, yes, Petra, Petra, Cetra, Perk Set, something like that. Um, let's go ahead and shoot the other catapult. I mean, why not? Infantry advance. Get it. Probably slow this down. Not gonna be quite close enough. More like there ish. Get the characters up there. Oh man, they're up against, I think they're up against the back wall. They're pretty close. There's not a whole lot of room for my chariots to get behind them. Cheesy, cheesy AI. Also, what's up Shen? It's good to see you again. I apologize for the uh, the frames, but that happens whenever you do these big Tomb Kings fights. Oh yeah, right in my halberd ears, please give it to me. Make sure the lords are focusing the lords. La -di da Oh, hello. I didn't think you would actually get mm, caught up in that. Ah, there's plenty of room for these chariots to go through. Welcome to Microsoft PowerPoint chat. The game. Oh, I forgot all about my Necrotect. Now you're gonna chase him down. 100% gonna chase him down. Oh, 
Get some good flanks going here. I didn't really want my chariots to be fighting their chariots. I'm gonna tell them to stop that. Please. Turn to hit these things. You hit those things. Where are you going? Oh, you should go for that guy instead. 100%. We also get our Ushabti. Don't send him in there. There we go. Cherry charge from the back. Very nice. Get a little sunburst action. Chariot on chariot actions, not very exciting. This is a tomb guard. Should be okay. Got this tomb guard halberd here. Still chasing these chariots, which managed to work their way over to my catapults, which I find hilarious. And also aggravating. Can you shoot these chariots, please? Thank you. And you too as well. Shoot those chariots. That'd be nice. Kind of a messy front line situation going on here, but uh, we're doing fine. We're just losing uh, skeletons. No big deal. Because they are also losing skeletons. Let me shoot these Tomb Guard Halberdiers, please. Thank you. Just cycle these out. This army was semi-quality, so... There's that. Enemy Lord got wounded. That should be it. That should be the nail in the coffin, really. Yep, there they go. They're crumbling. Ta-ta! Uh, you asked about a playthrough I wanted. Uh, here's a hint. I ordered this before you ask. Display... This plate has some pretty quality posters. I'm excited to see this. Ooh, that's really cool. Really cool. Undead Egyptians, man. Look at that extra large. That's very cool. Well, lucky for you, Shen, we're already playing Tomb King's Pog. Yeah, I bought my sister one of those uh, for her birthday a couple years ago. I bought her a Legend of Zelda poster from from this plate it's really cool we lost three skeletons but other than that pretty uh, minimal damage take the money to greatness so have you uh, passed the names to the others in the company? And if so, what do they think? Uh, I'm going to at our next meeting, which should be either Thursday or Friday. And I'll let you know then uh, if you're if you're around. Of course. More such course bones. But yeah, we, we we meet on like Tuesday, uh, Thursdays and Fridays typically every week. Based on everybody's schedules. But like I said, I've got your chat log, so I'll be able to pull them up. The realm of souls fills with my foes. Let's see. Do, do, do. No infrastructure really to do. I have to, um... Victory in undeath. 
Let me see. Destroy them. I actually have to build like a ram. Because I don't have siege attacker. For I'm looking forward to hearing about that. Uh, so feel free to message me if needed. Awesome, dude. I appreciate you uh, getting involved. Super cool. I'll let you know what we come up with. Oh my gosh, my head. I'm having some uh, sinus issues today, so forgive me. My face hurts. <laughs> And I was serious about the creative job. Um, that would probably have to be uh, something we do uh, post-release. Um, we're pretty set on the the current game. We we know like the direction we want to go through for that. But um, beyond that point, like for the game that comes afterwards, then I would uh, I'd be down for something like that. So uh, we're talking like probably next winter. Oh, they're attacking me? You dare approach me? Yeah, so probably sometime next winter. Okay. Chat, uh, I'm going to let this battle load in, but I'm going to go downstairs and get a drink real quick because walking helps relieve the pressure on my face. So, yeah, I will be right back. Give me like two, three minutes. No time at all. Burbs.
All right, chat. Sorry about that. Had to get up a move. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Let me throw these bottles away off my desk one sec. There we go. Okay. All set. How are you today, Sonny? Hope the day finds you well. Where's my... Oh, yeah. I gotta click on it. Okay, what we have here should be a pretty straightforward fight. Playing this game, very good gameplay, uh, but horrible financial system. Yes. This game's focus is mostly on the battles and the fighting. Not so much the diplomacy and the economy. Oh, you, oh you're saying... Oh, okay, hold on. Not this game, but a game. Um, can I guess it? Uh, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of them out there that I could think of like that. So, it's a pay to win? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea if it's a pay to win. I don't, I don't play very many pay to wins. Uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. They convince people it's not. Big think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm sorry. I'm not firing on all cylinders today. World of Warships? Okay, yes. I can... I can see that. I played World of Warships for like... 5 hours, 10 hours maybe. Now that game's totally pay to win. To buy buy the good ships and stuff. And like, pay, and pay to progress. It is too. Maybe it's not pay to win, but it's definitely pay to progress. From what I remember, I don't know, it's been a few years. Okay. Only having two archers kind of sucks. We are up against a Hyro Titan here, chat. Or we will be whenever he reinforces. Okay. 